Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in my description for 10% off your first purchase. Now, a question I get asked a fair amount is, bro, where are you getting all this dough? Like, where is all this bank coming from? And I figured today's the day I'm gonna share my secrets on how to become an entrepreneur, how to make your own money, how to be your own boss, most importantly. Now, granted, there are a few different ways I'm making passive income and income as a student. And these are all kind of lessons I learned along the way. I taught myself, obviously, I haven't gone to business school or anything like that. But I still think in this day and age with the internet and being an entrepreneur is so readily available that literally anyone can do it if you have the right skill set. So I thought it's only fair to share these tips with you guys today. And yeah, let's roll that intro. Now, firstly, I think it's very important to define what an entrepreneur is because with Instagram and YouTube and social media, everyone seems to call themselves an entrepreneur and have that title in their little Instagram bio. When in reality, like being an entrepreneur is a lot more than that. It's a lot of hard work, it's hustle, it's how you turn a small idea into a massive income making business. And I think the biggest thing is turning your passion into profit. Obviously, this is the most fun and easiest way that you can start making some side income regardless of whatever your passion is. Now, a big thing I say on the channel is that everyone has something they're passionate about. Everyone has something they're talented about. Whether you found it or not, I truly believe that everyone was brought into this world because there's something unique about them and there's something that they can bring to the table. For me, obviously, you guys know I'm a photographer and filmmaker and I was that before I was an entrepreneur, which was obviously a great background to turn something I was passionate about into something I could actually make money from. I still remember the first day that I was able to book a shoot for like 100 bucks or 150 bucks. I was so hyped. I was like, oh my gosh, how am I making this much money for doing like a two hour shoot when my friends are working minimum wage jobs and they literally have to work like eight hours to make the same amount. So that was like really mind blowing for me. And ever since I made that realization, I was like, okay, why don't I just like take this to another level and scale it as big as I possibly can. So I started my own Nick Shea Productions, which was just this photography and videography company based out of the Dallas Fort Worth area where I was doing senior pictures, family pictures, events, weddings, literally any type of photography event that I could get my hands on, I would try and shoot just so I could get my name out there, start building a brand, start being reputable and, and being able to make side income that I could use to purchase new camera equipment or go out to eat with my friends or you know take my family out to dinner like it, it really was like the little things that started to build up and get me to where I am today as an entrepreneur now if you do know what you're passionate about and people have told you wow you're really talented at singing or mowing grass or printing t-shirts or graphic design or whatever the random hobby or passion you might have like find a way to monetize that because I'm guarantee you there are ways to make money off of whatever it is graphic design is one of the easiest jobs to become a freelancer at because dozens of companies are looking for graphic designers to make their logos like even myself i'm always looking for new graphic designers that i can count on so if you are really passionate about graphic design or have some kind of interest like take that little bit of interest and find a way to scale that so you become an expert at it and become the best so that you can monetize that and monopolize whatever industry you're trying to achieve a big tip is to price low test the water see what your clients are willing to pay gauge your markets and from there slowly start to raise your price and at this point, I'm able to charge rates because it's supply and demand. The supply of photographers in my area is very low and the demand for photographers is very high. It's basic economics. So, you know, being able to charge whatever price you want, like keep it reasonable, obviously. But being able to set your own prices is one of the coolest things about being an entrepreneur. Another huge thing is you get to be your own boss. You can work however many hours you want to work. If I wanted to book five gigs for a whole month, then I could do that. Or I could just say, I want to take a break this month. I won't book anything. And that's totally fine because you're flexible. You make your own hours and that's what being an entrepreneur is really about like not having someone above you tell you that you have to work nine to five in this office in this cubicle that doing a job you hate when photography and videography is something I literally love if I'm able to make money off of it that's literally the best of both worlds now second big thing about becoming an entrepreneur is you have to do your research you have to know your market you have to know your niche you have to figure out what kind of need you are fulfilling for some certain people for me personally when I was like a sophomore junior I was seeing other people get their senior pictures taken and I was like dang these are not that good and I could do a way better job so that's literally what I did I text my friends hey I'll do a really cheap shoot if you just let me practice and the more people I started to you know shoot for I would develop a portfolio and at that point I was able to increase my rates now another huge thing is if you're an expert on something some examples can be like composition jazz guitar Amazon marketing um, flipping and reselling whatever it is I guarantee you there are ways to scale that to a larger size and turn that into some kind of business now obviously a lot of you guys watching are students so I'm not saying you need to make this into the next Facebook or snapchat but anything that's a side business and a side hustle that you can have passive 
income every month or so is better than nothing and I guarantee you it's better than working a minimum wage job. Other examples of products that you can actually sell are tutorials. If you're kind of a genius on graphic design or Python coding or whatever it is, film videos of yourself like going through step by step on how to become an expert like you are. Sell that online and I promise you that there will be dozens of people that are interested in that and would need a product like that. Another example of one of my entrepreneurial projects was I'm not saying that I'm an expert at college coaching or whatever, but I do know a fair amount since I've been through the whole college admission process and I got into Princeton and, and all these schools or whatever. That kind of gave me a reputable platform and from there I was able to say, okay, let me just make this into an ebook. Like that's super simple. All I have to do is take a few months, write out the whole book, publish it and design it and sell it. Now, I'm not saying it was a super easy task. There were a lot of things that I had to figure out and overcome on how to really publish an ebook and design it so that it's aesthetic and appealing to as many customers as possible. If you are interested, it will be linked down below. It's a crash course college coaching, taking you through every step of the admissions process all the way from freshman year of high school to submitting the whole application, letters of recommendation, financial aid, scholarships, um, the waitlist process. And I even give you examples of my own common application essay where I break down each paragraph. If you're interested and that that will be linked down below now after putting weeks of work into this i was asking myself okay what's the best way to publish this so i can keep low margins and still be readily available for anyone who's interested and obviously the easiest way was to put it online and host it on my own website which is where the sponsor of today's video comes in squarespace i mentioned them in the past and before i even started working with them when i was developing my photography portfolio i was hosting that on squarespace as well and then when i had this idea for the ebook i was looking at different options of shopify or selfie and i realized that since i have a squarespace account already like there's no point in me outsourcing that way i can literally just put on my own website and keep the margins pretty low. The amazing thing about Squarespace is that it's so fully customizable. You can change the layout of your entire products page to get it just the way you like. You can have special sales going on. You can use discount codes. You can track your analytics, which is the most important part about being an entrepreneur. You want to find what kind of products are selling, what your margins are, how much you're making. And with the Squarespace mobile app, I'm able to do that because I'm able to see how many people are buying the premium package or the basic package. And I'm able to track where people are coming from, whether it's from Instagram or Facebook or YouTube. So if you're an entrepreneur and you have some kind of product you're looking to sell, definitely check out Squarespace because they have tons of great services. Okay, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my tips on how to become an entrepreneur. And I hope this was able to shed some light on how I'm making passive income because as a student who still has academic classes to take care of, you know, any type of side money is good money. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a comment down below, like for more videos, and I will see you guys next time.